Hey there. Welcome to part three of how to make money with the logo creator. Today, I'm going to show you how to create your own set of templates and potentially sell them online using services like Etsy and Fiverr and a few other sites. Below this video, I've created a list of links that that you can take a look at. Now, this tutorial isn't really about setting up shop with these online sites, so you'll have to do a little research on how to create your own store, but this tutorial will show you how to create the content for the store. So let's get started. Now you may have noticed when you first launched the logo creator and you begin to make a template or you select a template, you'll get a dialog box that says on the next screen, the logo creator wants you to name and save a location for your custom templates. Now this is the key to this tutorial. And if you didn't know about this or what this features for let me show you so let's just click OK and now we're gonna select a, a location to put this custom folder so I'm gonna put it on my desktop for now and I'm gonna call this uh, for the tutorial purposes I'm gonna call it Fiverr templates whatever you want to call it but this is what I'm gonna do for now and save and you'll notice on your desktop it was created now this is the location where all of your templates will be saved to. Here's what happens. Let's say you want to modify one of the pre-made templates that comes with the business card set. So we'll click on the business card set and we'll find one of the templates that look good. Let's use this one for now, it's mine. And I'm gonna name it business card one, for example. Okay, it brings up the business card, but you'll notice back on my desktop, inside the new Fiverr templates, business card one is located right there with all of the necessary files. Okay, so far so good. Back in the logo creator. And now let's modify this a little bit. Let's remove the bird logo and we'll select one of the mascots to go volume three, for example. Now, I happen to have a lot of <laughs> elements that you may not have in your package because I have everything that I've ever created. Let's say we like this guy. Bring him down, resize him a little bit, and let's modify the template a tad. Go to edit. First we click on the text, go to edit. And we'll modify and make this a generic template and I'll show you why in just a second. Okay, once you've made some modifications to the template and you've made it pretty generic so that it says your name, your name at yourcompany.com and you made it a generic template because you're gonna sell this to other customers. Once you've made your modifications and you've positioned everything so that it looks, looks nice, go ahead and select another template. Don't save it, don't do anything. Go ahead and select another template. The second you push that select another template, watch what happens. You'll notice that back on your desktop, that template has automatically been saved inside of that Fiverr's templates folder that you created a little while ago with everything you've just created. Okay, great, first template done. Now let's go back into the logo creator and choose another template to modify. And we'll name this business card two. And to modify it, you're gonna click and boom, done. Okay, got the idea. You can change this, um, change the background if you want to, but for this quick tutorial, I'm going to leave it. And I'm gonna select another template. And back on your desktop in the Fiverr templates, we now have two business cards. And there it is. And you didn't have to save it, it just saves it automatically. That's the point of that whole folder. Get rid of this stuff. And let's go to the third logo, third business card. All right, name it whatever you want. Make this generic. All right. And once you've generified this, <laughs> genericified this, select another template and keep doing that. And you'll notice that this folder will continue to grow until you have 25 or even 50, 50 logos in there. Okay. Once you have as many logos as you think you want to try and sell, close the folder. You can do, now this is a Mac desktop, but it's exact same thing on Windows. 
go ahead and rename this folder. I'm going to call it Fiverr Templates 1 if you want to. Okay. Now when you rename it and you go back to the logo creator, first you're going to have to exit out, quit the logo creator, and then relaunch it and watch what happens. Since you renamed the folder, the software can't find the original folder, so it's going to ask you to create another folder, okay? So here we're going to call this Fiverr Set 2, or whatever you want to call it, all right? And there's the other folder. It's empty, okay? First folder has all of your created templates. Now the cool thing about this feature of the logo creator is that you can go into your documents folder on your computer, same in Windows. Okay, go to your documents folder, find Laughing Bird Documents and open it, find Logo Libraries and open it, and then drag Fiverr Set 1 right there into Logo Libraries. Yeah, there it is. Back to the logo creator, exit, quit, okay. relaunch it. Now you'll notice over here on the side you're going to have your new Fiverr Set 2 that you've just created that's empty, but you're also going to have Fiverr Template Set 1 that you've renamed and dragged into the, the Logo Libraries folder. Here are the templates that you've modified. Okay, so far so good. So now when a customer comes to you and says, I want to change the text, and I'll show you about that in a second. All you have to do is launch that template, rename it the customer, the customer's name. Okay, they've told you the text that they want up here. All you have to do is click on it, hit edit, and name whatever the customer's name is. You might have to play with the sizing just a tad, edit it, you know, goof around with it. But then you just export it as a JPEG and you can name it the customer's name. And go back to the desktop and look inside. And there it is. If we launch it, it's a nice business card that you can give to your customer. And you can tell your customer to go to a website called vistaprint.com. And once you're on vistaprint.com, go to all products, business cards, standard business cards, and you'll notice here, they can you can browse for their designs, start with a logo, or upload your own design, and that's what we've just created. So use your design, and ours is horizontal. Continue. And now we're on the Upload Your Design screen. Choose File. Find your customer folder. And import that logo. Boom, it's perfect. There's your business card. And that they can print 100 cards for like between 8 and 16 bucks, depending on whatever discount that Vistaprint happens to give you that day. It's really cool, and the quality is really nice. Vistaprint gives you lots of options. You can get glossy cards for like 6 bucks more, or they can get a coffee mug with your logo on it. They can get a mouse pad. Okay, now you can actually sell this to your customers and you can do all of this for them um, and it'll cost you $7.50 for this, uh, $16 bucks for the cards, um, it takes you seconds to change the logo. So if you charged $25, $30, $40 for this, you could provide a whole service and make a pretty decent profit. Look, Vistaprint's give, Vistaprint gives you everything. You can do photo notebooks with the image. It's really cool. And once I had my template, it took me minutes to get to this page here. Okay, now that you have your nice set of templates here, and this is Fiverr template set one, okay, you can keep doing this over and over again. You can have three, four, five, six different template sets and all of them have 25 or 30 different templates inside of them. Then 
you're going to set up your shops. So again, below this video, there's a whole bunch of links that I've given you. Um, you're going to have to do some research because again, this tutorial isn't how to set up a shop online. It's how to create the templates for the shops. But what I and Laughing Bird Software allow you to do is if you modify any of these templates, so there's the people pack, there's um, the YouTube, YouTube banners or YouTube thumbnails. You can make a whole bunch of YouTube thumbnails. This, I, I allow you to resell this as long as you change it. You can't just leave it generic like, like I've had it because uh, for one reason, you're gonna have a thousand people watching this video. If, if they were lazy and all of them did not change the templates, you're gonna be competing with the same template set and that's ridiculous. So you wanna put your own flair, your own flavor to these templates as well. And if you spent a full day creating 50 templates and then the next day you spend another full day creating another 50 templates from another set like the cartoon set or something or baldy bob and kiki right so you can change these templates but change the text maybe change the color okay you can have three four or five different sets of 50 templates each that's a lot of templates then you go back to a uh, one of the websites like Etsy. Now, Etsy allows you to set up your own online store, and Etsy's really cool. Etsy gets a lot of traffic. If you notice their Alexa ranking, they're 138. Out of all the sites on the entire web, Alexa has ranked this the 138th most visited site. Google is number one. YouTube is number two. So when you set up a store in Etsy, people are coming to it and they're typing in things like business cards. <laughs> All right, now people are selling them for 160 bucks, $24 for this. So when a customer comes to your website, to your Etsy site, they will fill out a form and they'll simply fill out the questions that you've asked them. What would you like the text to say? What color is the text? What kind of font do you want? And then you go back to the logo creator and change the template. And here it is. And you can send this to them as is, just like that for their business card. Or like I told you before, go to the Vistaprint site. In less than 15 minutes tops, you have a business card that you can now have Vistaprint send to you and then you send to your Etsy customer. Now, this person charges 214 bucks, charge what you want, but you know, for 25 bucks, 50 bucks, you can provide a really decent service and make it super easy on yourself. All right, that's it for this tutorial. So go out there and start creating and I'll see you next week.